In the figure, AB is a simply supported beam which is supported at A by a roller support and at B uh, by a pin support. 10 kN of load is applied exactly at the middle of the beam. So we know from this figure the vertical reaction at A should be 5 kN because of the symmetrical load and symmetrical geometry of the beam at its supports. So now the question comes, so how this 10 kN is passed to A and passed to B through the beam section, right? So this is 5 kN has to be transferred to B and 5 kN has to be transferred to A. So how that happens? There should be some kind of internal loads carried by the sections of the beam so that this load will be transferred to A. So let's stop the beam and see what it happens. And let's make the free body diagram of left hand side only. Okay. We can make the free body diagram of left hand side and right hand side both. Let's for the moment let's make the free body diagram of this part of the beam only. So now the reaction is 5 kN but the beam is not in equilibrium. So this means there should be some support, so internal supports acting here. Let's say this is point D, so at D there should be because 5 kN is acting upward and there should be to, to be balanced. 5 kN should be acting downward. 5 kN should be acting downward because we know the equilibrium equations Fy equals 0 for every section wherever we got all the equilibrium equations should be valid. Now if we see this these two loads acting at a and D, we can easily find that due to this load, the beam, the portion, the section of the beam will try to spin because both of these loads are creating clockwise rotation. So we see there should be some resisting moment at D for the beam section to be in equilibrium. So that should be equal and opposite which is moment at D. The rotation created by if the uh, let's say from this point to this point is X X meter and rotation created by the 5 kN loads will be 5x and that's why the resisting moment should be 5x. So at point T, at point T, the vertical internal load is 5 kN, that is what we call the shear force. Five kilonewton, and the moment that we call the bending moment equals five s. Every section we cut, we should be getting some shear force and some bending moment. So these forces are called internal loads and they are responsible for transferring the applied external load to the suppose.